question two then from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, six mark question, geometric sequence, three parts. It gives you a couple of terms. And for part A, for three marks, it says, what's the value of the common ratio? Well, what are these terms? It says the second term, so I'll just call that U2, is 108. And the fifth term is going to be four. So what's the common ratio for three marks? Well, a geometric series starts A, then AR, then AR squared, and so on, where A is the first term and R is the common ratio. So for this one, the second term, that would mean AR equals 108. And for this one, by the time you get to the fifth term, you'll have multiplied by R four times. So AR to the four is four. Now, stating that gives you the first mark. So how will you get to R? Well, you've got a pair of simultaneous equations. We'll just call them one and two. So if you do two divided by one, you will have AR to the four over AR is four over 108, which means R cubed, since something cancels there is, and that'll cancel down as well. That goes in 27. And straight away, that technique of solving the pair of simultaneous equations just by dividing gives you the next mark. Gives you the mark here, just from dividing it. And then finally the answer. Well, that means R is going to be the cube root, which you can state or just give the answer to. So that means that R is going to be one third. And that's the third mark. No, those were an easy three marks. B, just for one mark, state why the associated geometric series, that means sequence when the terms are stated separately in order, series when you've got the sum of the terms, state why the associated geometric series has a sum to infinity. Well, for a geometric series, quite simply, it'll converge if you keep multiplying by a number that's less than one, rather between one and negative one, that's a proper fraction. We just state it. You'd say this, since R, give it its value, is between 1 and negative 1. That might do on its own, according to the Martin scheme that would do. That means that the series converges. That gives you a mark. Or you might say this instead. Since a third, the absolute value of a third is less than 1, the series converges. And the last part for two marks, so what's this sum to infinity? Now here we can just go straight in with that formula. The sum to infinity is a upon 1 minus r. Only thing is, what's a? I know what r is, that's a third, so 1 minus r is two thirds. But what's a? We'll have to work that out separately. Get it from here though. If a r, using number 1, if a r is 108, that means a third of a is 108. That means that a is going to be three times that, which is 324. So there's your answer. It's going to be 324, and I should have said getting 324 gets you a mark. It'll be 324 over one minus that over two thirds, which means that the sum to infinity will be 162 times three, 486. There's the last mark. We go for a moment.